All right, so working on taking this uh, track tension apart. I got some bad news for you, I, and I'll show you here in just a second, but this one's not gonna be rebuildable. Um, it's just, it's too far gone. It's in really bad shape. Uh, I'm gonna try and get it apart though, just for you guys and for my own curiosity to see how it comes apart and how it all works. But uh, yeah, I got a new one coming. So we're just gonna be re uh, waiting on a new one before I can actually get this dozer fixed. It'll be here next week sometime but anyway in the meantime let's uh see if we can get this thing apart so let me show you what we got going on here <clears throat> so I, i've already had this uh part messed with it a little bit but uh first thing you're gonna want to do is take this plug out this is just it's just a standard pipe plug okay and uh inside of there is a greaser and the greaser is threaded into a check valve. So you wanna take that out. And I just kinda of stuck it back in there so you could see it. But... And the reason you're gonna to wanna to take the check valve out is because the next thing you're gonna to need to do is pull the piston out. Uh, the reason this is not gonna be rebuildable is all this right here. So you can see this is just completely destroyed. All the chrome is gone and uh, there's just no way that's gonna seal. I figure if this looks like this after being chrome plated, the inside of this is gonna be even worse um, or at least the same. And so I can stick the reseal kit in there, but as much work as it is to split this track, I don't see any reason to put this back together. So when I took this apart, it was shoved up in here and you can see Pushing that, that shoved a little bit of grease out. I can shove some more out. <laughs> That's nasty. Um, you won't be able to uh, pull this out of there, though, because it'll have a vacuum on it until you take that greaser out and the check valve that's in there with it. This guy. So that's the first thing to do. Then you can pull this out. Now, it hits a stop right here. And I'm not quite sure what's holding me up, uh, but that's what I'm going to figure out next. So screwdriver i'm gonna clean this out and see if i can figure it out i think there's a snap ring maybe in there that's holding me back so give me a minute to mess with it and uh we'll get it figured out okay so got this apart and literally all i did was hold on to this and my neighbor happened to come out and she helped me just beat this part off with a hammer so this is the rod itself as you can see that looks absolutely terrible on here though, we have a snap ring on the back. Uh, we have the seal, we have a wear ring. In here should have been a wear ring, but this is what I found, half of it. The other half is MIA. And then there should have been a rod wiper, okay? So rod wiper, I'm getting this all nasty. There's your number. So a rod wiper, that's the first thing that should have come out. Next thing is this bigger wear ring. There's that part number. Now on some of these models, on, on mine, uh, it only has one snap ring, which is the one I just showed you. But some models have two snap rings. So I went ahead and ordered this one just in case I needed it because we weren't quite sure because I can't read the serial number. It's been sandblasted. Um, it's right there, that... 101-2125-0. That's that snap ring if you need it. And that's the older uh, serial numbers. Okay, and that's what goes in here. So wear ring first. And on this particular one, no snap ring, just the rod wiper. This guy, the D95144. Okay. So rod wiper, wear ring, nothing else in this on here we have snap ring just this guy uh, right there so that's a a27085 so the next thing under that is the actual seal these are all case part numbers by the way that is a I can't read that one d95382 right there that's what it looks like, just a standard lip seal. 
And underneath that is another wear ring. There you go, D37289. So that's this uh, wear ring right here. All right, so you have snap ring, seal, wear ring. So if you can get this apart and it's still in decent shape, those are the parts that you'll need uh, to find or at least find uh, like an analog, something that's close to that. On this particular model, don't need this snap ring, the bigger one. On some models though, uh, this snap ring would go inside of here somewhere. And I'm not sure where, because mine doesn't have any place to put it. Now, can you guys see this? Let's zoom you in. Oh, that's not much. There we go. Can you see how nasty and rotten that is in there? So that wear band, without machining all that rust away, or at least, you know, using files or scrapers or something maybe, and then look at this. Can you see that? It's dang near a razor edge right there. And so this is just too far worn uh, to be worth rebuilding in my opinion. And I can stick my finger in here and pretty much the whole, as far as I can feel, there's, there's pitting and rust all in here. Uh, which means that unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to rebuild this. So that's how it comes apart. Those are the parts you would need to rebuild it if you thought you could. But in this particular case, um, it's just got to get replaced. So that sucks. Um, I will show you soon the uh, part number for the new one. I'll show you that in this video when I get it. And uh, I'll show you how that works. And we'll get it all reassembled and put together. But that's how this cylinder stack comes apart. It's, it's pretty simple. It's really pretty easy. So this was kind of hung up in there. Of course, it goes in this way. Um, like I said, just beat it out with a hammer. <laughs> is all it took and then cleaned it all up and this is the seal that's actually failed there's quite a bit of slop in here i don't know if you can see that that doesn't seem right and this snap ring is all kinds of bent uh so that's not good so anyway like i say um this particular one's going to go in the scrap bin and new one's coming so as soon as it gets here uh, we'll keep going and we'll start getting this, this old girl put back together. All right. New track tensioner. So, right there she is. So this should just slide right up in here. Like so. Now I just need to roll this wheel back and uh, get my bolts in there. So, let me fire up the... Uh, Backhoe, probably. I might see if I can just move this by hand, but probably backhoe, I think.
I'll get these bolts in. Uh, that I've got room out here to work. And then I'll use the back. I will shove this the rest of the way back in. And uh, then we'll see if I can't uh, start getting the track reattached. So give me some minute here. Alrighty, so these are 5 8 bolts, which means I take a 15 16 socket. take a uh, 15 16 socket they also take a 15 16 wrench up here. Okay, there's a, uh, a wear plate under here of some sort that is shifted backwards. So those bolts uh, yeah. So the, the other side's still in the right spot, but this one is shifted backwards. Uh, I think I'm just going to need to get the weight off the front of the dozer um, in order to get that pulled back into uh, place. And the battery's currently dead. I've got some sort of a, a parasitic draw on it. So uh, we'll wait. We'll come back and do that. Uh, some other time. In the meanwhile, let me get this uh, wheel pushed back the rest of the way. Well, crap. I really I need to do that before I tension the track up, otherwise it's going to be harder to get to. So, alright, I'm, I'm going to take the uh, battery home with me. We'll get it charged. I'll come back out tomorrow and, and we'll get these in. And, uh, yeah. So, another one right here on this side. It went in. It was kind of tight. But, it, it went in. Let me see if I can show you that, that wear plate. It's this piece right here. That's not a washer. That's a uh, like a piece of flat strap that runs all the way back in here somewhere. And then I'm just noticing, I don't know if you can see how much this is worn right here. And then this plate's almost gone. It's kind of a knife edge. Oh. <laughs> uh, my neighbor just snuck up on me about scared me to death. Uh, so I should probably try to replace these plates, but uh, some other time. That wasn't near as tight as I thought it was. There we go. Let's get it. And I almost forgot, but I, I did actually get new bolts for these. Which 
just like that. I guess I should have just torched these off in the end instead of working so hard at getting them off because I ended up replacing them anyhow. Come on now. Alrighty, and those do have uh, split ring locks underneath them. Uh, okay, we fire the backer back up and we'll push this the rest of the way back and then I'll see if I can't start getting this track aligned. That's as far as back as it goes, I guess. It was uh, pushing the whole backhoe back, so. Well, now for the fun part. Uh, see if I can get this track put back together. Okay, check this out. Now, find an angle here. So, this actually went pretty good. I mean, it's, oh yeah, look, it's not even tight. That's probably a bad thing. It probably means that I've stretched this out in the process of getting it off. I may regret it, but I'm going to go ahead and try to put it back together. Let's see all that. That hammered right in, so. Um, got this pulled forward with the backhoe. Let's see if I can get this up here. Now, this is a loose fit on this part, so if I can just get the pin started through it, it shouldn't be too bad. Hang on. So these like uh, spacers for on each side. Go in there. Hard to keep those in there. I really need another person.
there.
little too far. I think it'll be all right. There's really no driving it back that way. Oh yeah, look at that guys. Got the track back on the dozer. Okay. So after I unhook it, of course, the next thing to do, unhook it from the back of that is, this chain. Next thing to do is take that off, pump this up until it's tight, and should be ready to run. Whew, all right, awesome. Uh, let me get the uh, back off of it. All righty. Very excited about this. So, this is going to be really boring probably for you guys. There we go, she's starting to move. I didn't think I'd get this done tonight. I was planning on bringing out my, uh, well, not mine, but borrowing the electric grease gun from work. It's a lot of hand pumping. I got plenty of grease on hand if I need another tube. So I think you can see the tracks kind of moving and the whole thing just squishing out of there. I'll be back in a minute. All right, look at that. Nice straight track. All right, so I'm gonna put this back in here real quick. Just hand tight for now. And then what I wanna do is just drive it around for a little bit, maybe push on something small, and then uh, we'll readjust it. It may kind of slack off a little bit once you move around on it, you know, get it out, get it, it's sitting on itself. So it's may not be as tight as it needs to be, so. Anyway, check this out though. No more slack in the track. Uh, last thing to do is put the pads back on. Right there, got new bolts in the truck. So let's knock that out real quick and then we can go drive it around. I just gotta, I'll have to rob the battery out of the back of it. Luckily they take the same battery, same engine and all. All right, be right back. All right now, I was able to get three of those off and they happen to only have five new ones, which works out fine because I need four times two, so eight. So that worked out perfect. I do have all new bolts though. There's flat spots on the underside of these that hold those square nuts in place. So, these ones will be trickier just because I can't see. Oh, never mind. Now, these have kind of like a rounded side and they have a square side. I think the square side needs to go up to register in those little flat spots that these sit in. It may not matter that much, but if I ever have to do this again, I'll be kicking myself if I do it wrong. my big three quarter inch <laughs> i'd probably trust it to uh get that tight enough a little quarter inch though i don't uh, 
and get them by hand. that out I'll add a little bit more grease but uh I mean push the dirt <laughs> that's what it's supposed to so all right guys quite a bit of work pretty hard job but got it done so hope it's helped somebody see you guys next time